like to do doing the daily press conferences. Not in that war. Not not in the yard, at least. It's like it's definitely below 80 degrees. Anna Marie on uh, Cortez Beach. Back from Puerto Rico. Unexpected completely. I was gonna be there until around Memorial Day weekend. Um this is your little update, I guess, right? <laughs> Well, yeah, we'll go in the water and see how it feels. My first time doing it, we'll in the water over here. It was in the upper 80s over there, near 90. Here, yeah, it's doable, but it's not like maybe 79 or 78, 77 maybe. It's like 9.30, just before market's opening, so yeah. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Gotta talk about Puerto Rico. The reports about the crime there are weak. It's, I, I think it's two, twofold with regard to the safety issue for me. One, yeah, for my own safety. And I, I don't, never really, I like if I'd done something on it as a matter of safety, okay? Like this, all right? I mean, I just completely stopped everything. Look, I, I, I didn't even renew my car. Like registration thing, you know? November, my birthday. So I was set, and what else? I mean, a lot of things. The insurance, obviously, the car I wasn't going to be using it. Insurance company, I was talking about storage, insurance, whatever. Um, Christmas, the you know first of the year stuff. Thanksgiving, I was out. But you know, you can look at the reports. The homicide rate is through the roof. It's mostly drug related, yes, and the gangs and all that stuff. I mean, you got gangs in America, the churches, still, you're not gonna top that. It's the worst ever in the world. <laughs> Tempt not the Lord thy God. Yeah, I mean, it's matter. It was looking really cloudy earlier. Like, it was, it, just, it was just starting to rain like less than five minutes ago. <clears throat> so, I need, I mean, I get to the point whereby with friends and various people, I was like, praying it's got to the point whereby I wasn't able to pray and having fun it's more praying to now I know you know now I got a good idea of, of, of the issue of the insecurities no nude beaches what a coincidence right all the crime and no nudity <laughs> somebody had an issue with that with me having my shirt off in line in via keys right Wow, my shirt off. So, the other part was, yeah, just for myself, but the other issue with regard to the safety was almost like, like I talk about South Beach. You shouldn't be raising a child in South Beach. It ain't gonna happen, all right? <laughs> There's too much going on. But it's, it's the issue of how dare you people support this? You're here, I mean... <laughs> Hilton, Ritz-Carlton... I mean, in many ways, shame on you. The crime is out of control. It's, it's, obviously, it's number one in the world. It, it's like, it's, it's worse than modern day, like, wars. You can look at, like, the numbers of people who have been, the homicides, the numbers, just go look at Puerto Rico crime, Puerto Rico homicides. There's no no city or country cl or state or whatever you want to call it in, in America close to it. New York, pff, not even close. 77 square miles of San Juan. And it's the first time I've ever heard an AK-47. And people are so numb to this. And it's getting to the point now in America whereby People are numb to opioids and, you know, like the church is just trusting in doctors and people getting numb to vaccinations and, and thinking that, well, okay, my financial advisor got me a return this year of 4%. Hey, I did better than a CD. <laughs> or I remember there was a time when, you know, people were showing losses of only like, you know, 10, 20, 30% in a year. Hey, they better than, than better than, but they did better than SCP. 
you're getting numb to these things. We've got to seriously like love people and say no. I love you. I do. <laughs> Cleveland. What's wrong with saying we have? You know, here I am at Anna Maria Island. There's a way in the beach right now. <laughs> Look, I know when to come. Okay, you get, you get here before like everybody else does. The beach is yours. So I'm gonna go in the water. I am. But people are getting numb to these things, and I was getting numb to it here in America. We should have zero. Wherever I go, the crime rate doesn't isn't zero. It's negative. Okay. I got in that, that, that ferry to uh, Vieques from the mainland in Puerto Rico area and that thing was just loaded with drugs. Just because I was there, a lot of people, I noticed they were just walking away from my presence, okay? Cocaine goes away. It just dissipates. You know, people throw up in the air. Look how beautiful it is now. And now that I'm here, clouds go on bye bye And it's all clear, clear up. So yeah, pot gone. Uh, your vitamin C. Your vitamin B12, any of your, your essential oil bullshit, trying to get healthy stuff. Look how beautiful the sand is. Wow. And by the way, yeah, I toured all the beaches, except for one that boat, 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 crash boat, beach. The only one I didn't get, and it's uh, supposed to be the one of the nicer ones, so I kind of missed it, but no, nothing's close to the sand. It is nice though, they don't have red tide and the red blooms and all that stuff. Allergy blooms. I'm going back. I'm going back. With the vengeance. The power love of Jason Werner setting everybody free. Dog fighting. I mean, these things are illegal, but, you know, prostitution is running rampant. And yeah, I, you know, I talk about how prostitution should be legalized so that it's, you know, disclosed properly. We have, we have, we have America, we have, we have a marriage in this America, which is, is you know, legalized prostitution already, so why just legalize it completely? Or just get rid of marriage. That would, that would take care of it. Some countries only, the countries didn't have it for a long time until recently, like Australia didn't have it. It's, it's funny that the gays want, you know, to be with the other, I guess, heterosexuals or whatever in marriage, but do you realize like how you're losing your rights and power when you get that whole government marriage stuff? <laughs> so anyway, that's your Puerto Rico. I love you, Puerto Rico. San Juan, Ponce, Culebra, <laughs> Santorce, La Perla, um, Isabel, um, Oh yeah, Isla Verde is one of my favorites, obviously. Dorado, it's cool. What's up? <laughs>